losses. Losses again. This time we talk about trading loss, and you know what I'm saying. When you go on internet and、uh, dealing with stock, you have trading loss. So I want to introduce a concept of how you can turn that trading loss to business loss. If that will help you, right? You know that trading loss is a capital loss. Capital loss, according to our tax rules, for a million years, you can only deduct three thousand dollar a year. Say your trading loss is three million dollars. I guess you have to live for a thousand year before you can deduct all your trading losses, right? So that doesn't sound right. It make you frustrated. I understand. So what we are saying here is that there is two way. Of turning that capital loss into a business loss, one of the way is what we called being a day trader. So if you are a regular passive investor trading on the internet, or you hire a financial planner to trade it for you, that is what we call a passive investor. So your loss and gain are capital loss or capital gain. Of course, we know that capital gain and enjoys a lower rate, especially long-term capital gain. Then you only up to twenty percent of tax rate. Good deal. Long-term capital gain should be under your personal name. Should be personal investment. Good deal. But what about short-term capital gain? Short-term capital gain is taxed on the regular income tax rate, so really doesn't make much difference for you. And if you are trading. Day in day out, so called day trader is the trader trading daily and making profit. Well, you didn't make profit because the the market screwed you up and you got three million dollar loss. So that happens, right? And I have a client actually called me so sad, lost three million dollars. The whole retirement saving is gone, and he was even he was calling me to ask me how to tell his wife what's. What happened? I told him just you know, take couple sip of whiskey and、um, you know be brave. Tell her I'm sure your wife would be still loving you and you know so life right is life. But and one thing we want to do is since she's he's trading this way, so is he qualified to be a day trader? Maybe he does. So if you are qualified to be day trader, one of the step I want you to take is to do mark to market election, and we have a lot of YouTube channel on our on our、uh, channel under Community CPA. You type into mark to market, you will find a detailed video that tells you how to do that. But here I just want to give you that big picture. So if you are individual trader, you day trading for profit, and you can elect to be mark to market. Of course, be、uh, be careful because if you lose, mark to market is great. You can reduce the loss, no longer limited by three mi- three three thousand dollars. You can literally deduct three millions against your three million dollar other income. But if you made money with mark to market, you paying regular income tax rate. So that's you know the drawback when you make money. However. Other than you recognize yourself to be a day trader, you can do mark to market. There is another way to make the trading work, and you can form a company. Yes, you can establish a company, trading your trade under the company EIN number, making that a company regular business activity. What does that do to you? And that will just. Make all of your gain as income. Make all of your trading losses as a loss. So at the end of the year, and you are filing taxes like a company tax. And sometimes, and you have tradings, and you didn't really sell, but the value went down. This is the company, right? And you can actually deduct the losses without selling the share. Because that's what called impairment testing, impairment deduction. Hey, did you hear that in 2021, Elon Musk, the smartest man on earth, and he actually did something like that. He actually bought crypto stock, cryptocurrency, and the Bitcoin. Remember, he announced that people can buy Tesla with Bitcoin. Remember those days for the very short time because he bought Bitcoin and. 
Of course, he bought it, but the company didn't sell it. Bitcoin dropped. Then he had an impairment deduction to deduct the profit that Tesla made in 2021. So there you go. So we have these kind of accounting treatment, and you can use when you have a business. So to summarize what we talk about here, and we are talking about trading losses. Yes, you can be the passive trade,、uh, passive. Investor and only deduct your losses by three thousand dollar a year, and prepare to live for thousand years to get that all deducted. Right? You can also be the day trader, elect a mark to market, so you can deduct your losses like a regular ordinary business loss. However, that gain you have under mark to market, you don't pay self employment tax. It's not exactly like a self employment income. It is an income sub- subject to regular income tax, but it's not having a self employment tax on it. Then the third method we talked about is to take your investment out, set up a company, so you can actually trade under the company. Couple of Couple of tips for you when you do the company one. Sure, you can set up a company to do investment, but you also want to make sure that you are trading for your own money. If you're trading for other people's money, you got friends who come around goes, "Hey, trade that for me." You actually need license. the The threshold of how many people can you trade? Of course, you can trade your mom, dad, brother, sisters, and nobody bother you. But if you have more than thirty five people. Who give you money to trade under your company? You better already have your trading license. So there is a company requirement there, and don't go overboard. And you know it is your own money, and you can do that easily. But if it is other people's money, just be aware of the compliance requirement, right? So. Uh, you know, I already mentioned to you when you have a company to trade,、uh, you have this impairment testing to do. You can do impairment deduction, which is all good and dandy. And those are the ways for you to handle your money smartly, and you don't have to be stuck with three thousand dollar a year capital loss and don't know what to do with it. Let's say you are not wanting to be a day trader. You also don't want to set up a company, but you want to not be limited to that three thousand dollars and the capital loss you have. Then what you need to do is tax planning. You need to plan for capital gain. You need to figure out maybe you sell your rental property, create a capital gain, or you you do whatever you can do to generate the capital gain to offset that loss. So there's a lot of ways you can deal with those losses that hiding behind your tax return you don't know how to deal with, and you know this is the moment you need to know that there are people knowing how to do it and to seek them out and look up communitycpa.com and we're there to help you and we can answer the tough questions. 